Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of the Survival Games mini-series. In this episode, we're going to get started on the commands. Now, I know that the first few videos have not been very exciting, and the next few with the commands and everything won't be that exciting either. Uh, but once we get past all of the base that's necessary to write, um, it'll be you know, it'll be much better from there because we can start adding all of the interesting uh, features that you guys want to see. So, I have a list of uh, six commands here that we're going to write. It'll probably take two or three videos to write all of them, uh, but we obviously, for the arenas, we need to have the ability to create or remove an arena. Um, uh, of course, adding a spawn to the arena, adding a chest, because uh, the way that survival game survival games games work um, are that there's a bunch of chests, uh, usually in the very beginning, the cornucopia at the middle of the map, and then also spread throughout. So we'll have the ability for you to um, register chests that will then be um, automatically filled with items and then, you know, refilled and all that good stuff. And then, obviously, the ability to join and leave as a command. We could also do signs for that, because I'm sure that you guys would be interested in seeing, um, you know, lobby signs and stuff like that. So, let's get started with uh, create and remove arenas. So, first, we're going to go ahead and make a new package, which we'll call um, CMDs. This is a sub package and I spelled the name wrong so it would be CMDs commands and then we're going to write a new class and then this is going to be called create arena so this is going to extend um, game command that special game command class that we made which obviously means that it needs to implement the method public void on command player p string array args. And that's where we're actually going to handle everything. But then, of course, we need to have our command info annotation. And if we take a look at command info, first of all, um, you know that you have to put it right above the class declaration, right before public class create arena. You put at command info. Um, oh, that's the wrong command info. Um, did I spell this wrong? Oh, there we go. So I have the command info annotation. Um, and then it has the string description and string array, uh, string array aliases. So the way that we do this is we put parentheses, um, and then we say, I believe this is it, description equals this, aliases equals this. I think that's how you do it. Uh, it looks right. So the description will be um, uh, create an arena and the aliases or the you know different commands will be create arena or ca and that should be good so now we have a um, class setup that extends game command so uh, defines the one method that we need and then it also um, has the command info annotation which is important so that we know the aliases and the description and I'm gonna space it out because it's bothering me there we go Good. So now, before we actually write the um, stuff in there, um, we'll go ahead and quickly show you cmds.add new create arena. And import. Okay, good. So that's how we register the command. Once we write each command class, we need to register it in the command manager so that it knows that the commands are there. So now let's go ahead and write it. Um, first thing that we want to do is we need to make sure that the person, the player, specifies enough arguments because um, for create arena, 
Oh, and that's the one thing that we're missing. We're missing usage from command info. Because we need to make sure that they specify the name for the arena to be created. Uh, but we forgot to specify in command info. Uh, they need to know the usage information. So we're going to go ahead and quickly add to command info um, a string called usage. And then, of course, over here, um, we need to do... Um, usage is equal to uh, name. Good. So we need to specify the usage and then also quickly in the command manager we want to say right here um, info.usage and then stick that in. So we want to make sure that they know what parameters or arguments they need to specify. So in this case we know that they need to specify a name. So first of all, if they um, if args.length is equal to zero because they need to specify one argument uh, then we would obviously tell them uh, chat color dot red um, you must specify a name for the arena. Okay. And now, next we can... Well, first of all, we need to return from that. And then we need to say... Um, Okay, so we know that they've given a name for the arena. We can say string name is equal to arg0. So now let's make sure that they're not making a duplicate. So if arena manager dot get instance dot get arena for name is not equal to null, then it obviously already exists, and we want to tell them that it does. We'll say an arena with that name already exists. And obviously we want to return. So then we need to go ahead and say... So we're just going to go ahead and create an empty configuration section to say that the arena exists. Um, actually, let me just quickly check. What information is associated with it? Uh, the spawns and then also the chest locations. So we're just going to create an empty... Um, an empty configuration section so it knows that the arena exists but the spawns have to be um, specified. So we'll go ahead and say um, uh, uh, what was I just doing? Okay, so we'll first say um, settings manager dot get arenas dot create section name. So we're going to create an empty section for that name. So we're saying that this arena does exist and it obviously um, doesn't have anything. Then we want to say arena manager dot get instance dot add arena new arena name. Actually let me think of exactly how we're going to do this. Okay, never mind that. Never mind. So we're going to create the section name, and then this should... Yes, it does save it. So we're going to create this empty section, and now um, that obviously worked successfully. Check color.green, and then we're going to say um, created arena name. Now you must set up the spawns. So we know that after they create it, they need to set up all of these spawns. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and copy this and rename it to remove arena, because now we're going to have the ability to remove an arena. We're going to change, of course, up here. This is remove an arena, and it wants name and remove arena or RA. So obviously they need, you must specify the name of the arena, word that a little bit better. Uh, so if the arena is equal to null, we can say an arena with that name does not exist. So obviously they would need to specify an arena that exists in order 
um, for it to be removed. And then, um, let me just check one thing in Settings Manager, because I think that, um, is there a remove method? No, I think you just set it to be null. Okay. So then we're going to say, this is remove arena. Then we want to say dot get instance dot set name to be null. So it'll set all of the data for that arena to be null. And then it would say um, removed arena name. And then we're going to say this will be applied on reload. Because if we go ahead and apply it right now, if there's a game going on when while someone removes an arena, um, and then we go to set it up, we go to um, load or remove that arena, then we call setup, and then it would remove all the current arenas and then add in new ones. So we're just going to have it like this. Um, so when you reload the plugin, or if we add a reload command um, to the plugin, which we certainly could do, um, then it will uh, it would reload. But for now, we're just going to remove it and then tell them that next time they uh, reload and the arena manager goes to load in all the arenas, since this is null, it would be deleted and it wouldn't be there to be loaded. So that should be good. And obviously, since I would probably forget otherwise in the command manager, uh, we need to cmds.add new remove arena. And, okay, so that's all for this episode. We uh, began writing the commands. This shows you how to use that um, command, game command class, and then the command info annotation. And we wrote two commands for creating and removing arenas. Um, if we go back to our main, uh, we finished these two, uh, but we still need to write the commands for... Uh, adding chests, adding spawns, joining, and leaving, which we'll do in the next... That'll probably take two episodes. We'll do two commands each episode. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button. Let me know what you want to do with this plugin, because um, once we get the base done and it's a functioning plugin, I'd be happy to keep on adding stuff like um, bungee cord support, um all different things like that server like signs for joining like lobby signs um you know anything that you want to see so just let me know and i'll see you guys soon with some more coding videos bye